so it's about 6.50 in the morning. Got my co-pilot right here, Indy. Indy, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Can't really see much because it's here, but one sometimes one of the things I gotta do is um take Indy to daycare. She gets bored, and I feel bad because I'm gone all day. So heading there now. I feel like I'm taking him to school or something. So this is where I keep all my equipment, my little shop. We have chickens there, but so we built this fence here a little bit more privacy. I need to organize one day this um this whole little section that I keep all my stuff. I think I'm gonna move that a little bit more back since we're not gonna use it. Just that's for the leaf removal. All these tractors, I gotta maybe put them on that side. Maybe build a little ramp over there or something so I can go on top, or put them on this side. So they're still working on the fence. We still need to cover the back side of this little shop and as well fix the trailer. Um, just organization, including it's not bad of a mess, but it's kind of bad. When I was uh, younger, I used to um, put these in little places so I could make a little bit of cash, but organize this whole section, just get it ready for this season. fell from up there so if you guys have any tips or suggestions how to organize my little shop let me know i'm always wanting to improve this little space i know i have plenty of room on the walls and maybe in the ceiling area maybe like hang some stuff just give me some advice so we have here the aerator that we're going to use to um oversee the property Manny. So right now we're gonna, we're aerating right now and then we're gonna add the Bermuda grass and then straw on top to keep the birds from eating uh, the seeds. Now on top of a uh, a uh, a roof. No, on top of the ladder. Clean this gutter. Gotta make money somehow. Now I do personally. I do houses that are like one level that like a twenty-four foot ladder could reach reason being is because i honestly don't have much um i don't have much training on how to clean gutters like for two three story building so i just focus focus on one story buildings that i can clean and are easy or easier for me to do and more accessible for me and like me and another guy could do easily obviously i have another guy for safety to hold a ladder or anything of that sort so um currently cleaning job after fixing the truck because the truck was something was wrong with the I don't even know how you call it like the little band but we loaded up everything we're waiting for a dump trailer not dump trailer but it's not the one you think it's like the manual one we've got to trim this shrub takes this little evergreen off trim the crepe myrtle this tree clean out this bed take the ivy out take this tree out those two trees as well trim the liriope Put some um, dark mulch as well as this junipers. He wants them all out, and we're gonna replace them with the healthy ones. And here, clean out this bed as well. Trim those two trees up. Clean out this bed and put some dark brown mulch. So let's get started.
it goes. The first load. The landfill. Looking good though. Halfway there. All we gotta do is um clean a little bit the remainder of the little detailed stuff. That one's trimmed up and um put mulch down in that stone. And then we're pretty much done. At the nursery and um, we're gonna find some juniper like the ones he had, but his was dying. So some juniper, it says blue rug, but I think he has some of this kind right here, if I'm not mistaken. So one gallon, juniper blue Pacific. I think that's it, but yeah, pretty much. Cause I think he had this other kind, but I'm not sure. Anyway, so I am at the nursery. This is Stags and Greer. So about to load up some dark brown mulch. Truck's over there. And get the job rolling. Putting mulch down now. So we put mulch there. There we took out that tree, that pine tree. So just finish it up with mulch and then plant some, some junipers. finished product here the only left thing is to plant those juniper pacific junipers that's it crazy day to day finally got done with the mulch job that we did and taking out the junipers and all that but we still have to do half a scoop of mulch plant the new junipers and as well as put um, some retaining rock border so that's what we have left of the house. And then finally I'm done with that project. Got a little late now, sun setting, a little tired. So I'm ready to go home, maybe have some steak. I don't know, just relax for a bit. Tomorrow's gonna rain all day. So working on a, other stuff behind the scenes. And um, this week is, it's done, it's in the books. And we'll see what next week, next week, what it brings. Peace.